Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lodar! It's time for my favorite scene in the game today, so let's head on over to the White Dragon Cave. Uh, someone was also telling me, uh, H.G. Bailey, you ought to uh, talk to Remus' dad, and uh, I don't know how I forgot to do that, but uh, well, I'm going to do that now. So, a little extra dialogue that we can get here. Hey, okay, how's it going? Oh, well, he, yeah, he's doing just fine. I mean, okay, so he's a teenager. I, I don't think he can sign a legal contract, but he does own a store. Scammed someone out of it. And he's the one doing the scamming now. So. Yeah, your son's doing okay. Uh, he's not lazy at all. At least not now. I didn't exactly start a business. He kind of stole it, but... Oh, well, I don't think so. He's doing real well. Oh. Well, he sold a sword to me. I'm gonna save the world with this sword. Okay, well, let's move on. And I also heard a lot of you viewers. Uh, I will be showing off all of Galleon's spells because uh, we never get them ever again. Uh, none of our party members for the game can actually learn those spells. We learn our own variety of awesome spells. But not these ones. So I'll show them off if I can. I'm going to try and run from most enemies because there's probably going to be enough enemies that are going to force encounters. Like this one. So, I'll do what I can to uh, show things off. I also move Galleon around on the uh, formation a little bit. So, let's start with Inferno! <laughs> Disco Inferno! Burn, baby, burn! Oh, and uh, another thing I forgot. Um, you cannot remove Galleon's equipment. So, no, no. It doesn't work that way, viewers. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, you see? Can't do anything. Can't even look at the items, so I have no idea what they're called or what their stats are. He's doing really well for himself, let's put it that way. He's got that bling! So. And yes, I know, this is an ice area. I just... I don't know why. For some reason, I don't kind of... I don't exactly think of this as a nice area. I guess it kind of is, but I guess it's because when you first come here, you don't have like fire elemental magic and stuff, and so. But I mean, even the Yetis were uh, throwing what were those uh, snowballs at us or something like that. And yeah, Galleon's uh, MP is insane. So. I think this is the only wind elemental spell in the game. Even though there are a lot of enemies that are weak to wind. Although, uh, usually the way we get wind elemental damage in the game is through weapons, not through actual spells. We only really get access to, like, fire, ice, thunder, things like that. Okay, we're pretty much here, so, uh... One more spell. Why not? Yeah, I find it odd that Galleon doesn't have a lightning elemental spell. Or a thunder elemental spell. Because, uh, Earth... I don't know what element this spell is. There is no Earth element in the game, at least not to my knowledge. I don't think any enemies are, uh, strong or weak against it. So, uh, I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. Okay, well now we're going to be seeing Quark, and, uh, I'll be quiet for a lot of this scene. Maybe not all of it. Okay, I have a lot to say, actually. But yeah, I will try to be quiet, and uh, I think I might make a bonus episode uh, commenting on the entire scene, but uh, not this time. Okay, how's it going? Well, it appears that Galleon has at least seen Quark. So, why did you need us to uh, find him? Maybe he moved or something. I don't know. Maybe he forgot after all these years.
What's going on? What do you mean by that? I, I thought we were here to stop the Vile Tribe. What does Luna have anything to do with that? What do you mean? What, Luna's behind all this? What is the truth? The, the one... The one what? The one what?! You're not gonna tell us, are you, game? Uh... Gallium? <laughs> oh, then the time has finally come. My coming out party can begin. Send in the clown. By Althena, what have you done, Gallium? Not Gallium, dear Quark. Magic Emperor Gallium. Magic Emperor? Gallium, no. <laughs> Galleon, yes! Someday people may mourn this day, but my glorious rule can only begin with your enslavement. <laughs> shall be the cornerstone of a new order. My world order, but... <laughs> Who shall be my queen? That, my friends, is how you introduce a villain in a JRPG. Epic music, awesome villain laugh, come in, kick ass, take names, and establish the son of a bitch must pay mentality. That's how it's done. Might have been nice to have it in the first five hours of the game, but I think the funny dialogue carries Luna really well. Which is also a rarity in JRPGs that take a while for the villain to show up. But then we're only what, seven, eight hours into the game, so that's not bad. It's not like 20 hours or something like most modern JRPGs do. Did I really fool any of you into thinking that Galleon wasn't evil? Did I really, viewers? I tried not to spoil it, but I, I couldn't help doing my Palpatine impression. I, 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 I haven't done it in so long. 
So, yeah, I was kind of there, but uh, how'd we get out of here? Okay, let's go. Let's. Oh. Oh, so you know him. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, I guess it is a nice area. Okay, fine. I don't know why. It just kind of doesn't really feel like it. I don't know. Kind of like Death Peak and Chrono Trigger. But uh, before visiting Lake, let's go find porn! Uh, and if you do this now, you get Luna's Bromide 2. If you don't get this now... You can never get it later. So this is the only time in the game that you can get that. When Luna is not in the party, but before talking to Lake there. So uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, it's not exactly porn, but... Well, you take what you can get when girlfriend's gone. So... I wonder what Galleon really wants with her anyway. I mean, they said she's the one, but... The one what? I, I don't know. I think he's got it all wrong. Oh. But anyway. Hey, Dad. Oh, well, thanks. That makes me feel so much better. I think if you talk to everyone around the village, they're all, like, supporting you and on your side. It's like no one... Uh, even questions questions you at all. I mean, I suppose you, you know they know you and they don't really know Galleon, but I mean, you would think there'd be some people who are like, "No, that can't be true. You must be lying," or "He's one of the four heroes," or something like that. But uh, no, everyone just pretty much automatically believes you right away. Yeah, it's not creepy at all seeing my two children fall in love with each other, even though. Luna was adapted, but still, there's nothing creepy about that or anything like that. I wonder if uh, we still get some dialogue here. Oh. That's not very nice at all. Hmm, I guess we get a little more dialogue from this stuff. Is that like a reference to a song or something? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, now we're in love with each other. Well, let's go talk to Lake. wonder what he was doing in there, anyway. Maybe he was just passing through. Okay, how's it going? No, no, we're still doing good. We could, uh, sure use your help, Lake. What does that mean, mum's the word? Sounds like a British expression. <laughs> I love Nal's expression. <laughs> oh, what about me? Uh, well, gotta kill Galleon, so... I have to think about this one carefully. Yeah, let's go defeat Galleon. Oh, well, or kill him. I think either way, the dialogue progresses about the same way. So. Nuts. Well, we gotta do something. I'm already at level, what, 17, 18, something like that. Well, no, I wasn't exactly there. Oh. Oh, maybe that's what Galleon was talking about.
Gotta find the other dragons. Do you happen to know where they are? Someone's gotta know. Huh? What is it? Huh? What is it? Are you gonna tell us what you're gonna give us? Here we get the Dragon Wings. One of my favorite items in the game. Uh, you can use them and they will take you anywhere you've already been to. So in its unlimited use, you can warp anywhere around the world that, to any town that you've been to. So yeah, it's really nice. So no, they're not gonna make us walk all the way back to wherever we need to go to progress with the plot and I don't know, gather more information on the dragons or something, so. Okay, let's try out the white dragon rings. But where do we go with them? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! I'll be taking a few days off from the LP, though I'll, I'll still be making some other videos, but uh, then we'll continue on with the plot. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!